So the importance to knowing which each blocker is capable of doing in Gambit can be difficult to understand at times, especially if you're a newer player who's never touched Gambit and experienced the chaotic encounter it brings. So of course, the best way to understand Gambit is to understand the blockers and what they're capable of doing. You see, blockers are designed to, no less, block or cause annoyance, and this can be done by you or your team banking modes. And while sending blockers out, they can in fact help invaders by it being a distraction tool. But for this to succeed, we first need to know what type of blockers we have and what they're capable of damage wise. First, we have light hitters or the taken phalanxes. Can be summoned after 5 modes deposited and are considered the most annoyingness among the bunch because of their strong shield bash, which, if it lands incorrectly on you, can cause you to go Mach 10 into structures. Although they could be easily killed by getting behind them, they are more fearsome when in groups. Next, we have the medium hitters or the taken knights. Summoned around 10 modes deposited and are more tankier to take out. They are capable of harassing players easily if they have other support behind them and can cause complete havoc if left on the field for too long. Can be taken out easily with special or heavy ammo, but the moment one spawns should be dispatched straight away, as if it stays too long in the field, they can become a major problem with taking out. And then lastly, we have the heavy hitters or the taken ogres. Summoned around 15 modes deposited and are even more tankier than the medium hitters. On their own, they can be easily dispatched there and then by one player, but with support from other blockers or worse from more taken ogres, they can take up a good amount of time to be dispatched and would require at least your whole team to take out if you want a chance to bank or if you have a super ready to use and willing to waste. On top of that, they also have the ability to push you away from them and when low on health, will start to get up close and do ground slams which can send you flying. Think of these guys as taking phalanxes and taking knights combined into one and then pumped full of steroids. So now as you can see, each block has their usages and can play differently when combined with others and yet, from our observation, not many players place them tactically, unless in groups. Understand more solo player as anything goes, but for the group players, this will come in handy for winning more matches. So, the overall question is, who is more worthwhile to go for? The answer is taking phalanxes, funny enough, which sounds silly, but at first you have to understand one thing about them that makes them deadly, and that is their shield bash can one shot if the stars align, and believe me, this is 95% of the times. Back in the Taken King, they used to be one of the many obstacles that can break a player for their simple movesets and attacks. And now in Destiny 2, Bungie have dialed up their existence even more, making them somewhat OP in some instances. That and they're cheap to deploy, so you can deploy one after another after another to completely bombard and block opposing teammates. I know for a fact that if you spam a lot of them on the Kel's Grave, you pretty much have an instant way of downing the enemy team easily with their broken, I, I would say, uh, pushback ability. So now you have a blocker capable of blocking incoming shields and can one shot if in close vicinity of a player and because of their cheapness can be summoned multiple times within a short time frame. Sounds absolutely perfect, but you have to remember they are more stronger when in groups. So sending one on their own is fine, but sending three or four in one go is where they become the brightest and probably most vicious attacking blockers in game. Now you understand why the taking phalanxes are good. So how about the other two? The knights when combined with the phalanxes are considered to be the go-to blockers for shutting the bank down, as while one is dishing out the damage, the other can block and repel when needed. And while this is all going on in the background, a invader can pop in and cause the team to panic even more, especially if they have moats on them. So a general snowball effect when executed right, but this requires a solid coordination from your own teammates to do so. So the Taken Ogre now is good with the fan lances, and they both incorporate a pushback moveset which allows you to prevent a potent team from pushing up. However, the main problem I find with the Ogre is that the weak point is very open for people with long to medium range weapons, so ARs, scouts, hand cannons, etc. So they can be easily taken out at safe distances, and go to waste for the opposing team, unless they add in another Taken Ogre, or two, and then add in an invader who could delay the team from engaging and then throw in some more blockers to succeed even further. It's a 50-50 when you use these guys, as although they're powerful and have a lot of health, they can be easily taken out with a team that knows what exactly is happening and how to deal with it then and then. I'll say the Taken Ogres are more better when they are supported by either more Taken Knights, as they are more tanky, or they're supported by other Ogres as well, which can really cause a lot of chaos. So overall, 
The best thing to take from this video is that the best blocker to choose, use and abuse in Gambit is attaining Phalanxes as their exceeds melee range, cheapness plus spam ability and all round effectiveness with other blockers. Along with that you can then also combine them with the Taken Knights which specialise very well in supporting these guys. And then lastly if you really want to do even more damage then go ahead with the Taken Ogres but the Taken Ogres are more better when combined with other Taken Ogres. So if you're in a team and you want dedicated roles I would recommend that you have at least one player that focuses on just using the Taken Phalanxes all the time to put a lot of pressure on the other enemy team so that they have to waste their special or heavy ammo or their super and then your other teammates can come in and use the more bigger and stronger and hard hitting blockers that's available in the game. So that is the end of the video I hope you enjoy the content. Do leave a like and a sub for more future similar content as I plan to do more like this in the near future. But like always thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.